Hi, how can I help you today? I'm looking for a bike for my daughter. How old is your daughter? She is five years old. This will be her first bike. We have lots of cute bikes for girls. Does she like a particular color? Yes, her favorite color is purple. We have a few purple bikes. Let me show you. I really like this one. This has stars on it. She loves stars. Would you like to add a basket to the front of the bike? That would be wonderful. How much is this bike? Fifty dollars. That's a little more than I wanted to spend. Do you have anything cheaper? Unfortunately, this is one of the least expensive bikes we have. I see. This bike has an adjustable height, so it will grow a few inches as your child grows. That's a great feature. I think I will buy it. What is your return policy? We have a 100% money back guarantee. What does that mean? You can return it for a full refund if you are not satisfied with the product. Mom, why do people get Labor Day off? Well, Kathy, it's the day we honor working Americans. So we celebrate people that work? Yes, back in the late 1800s, many Americans were working long hours under poor conditions. People protested to have better working conditions, and a special holiday was created for workers. In 1894, Labor Day became a national holiday. So, people have a day off from work? Yes. Many businesses close and companies let people take a day off. Post offices and banks are closed. And schools are closed, too? Yes. Schools are not open on this day, either. Is it always in September? Yes. It's always the first Monday in September. Do we do anything special on this day? Well, now it's also celebrated as the end of summer. Is that why we always have a picnic and get together with family and friends? Yes. Some places even have fireworks and parades. I'm glad there is a day to honor hard-working people. Yes, Kathy. One day you will also be a hard-working American. What subjects did you learn in school? I learned math, science, physics, biology, geography, history, literature, English, art, and music. What subject did you like the most when you were at school? Were you good at it? I liked biology the most, although I was excellent at literature. Did your friends like that subject, too? Yes, they did. They enjoyed every single biology lesson. Was the textbook written in English or any other language? It was written in English. Who taught that subject? My teacher was Miss Karen from the USA. How was the subject helpful to you? It helped me a lot in becoming a biology teacher. How often did you learn that subject? I often had biology lessons five times a week. How long did you spend on that subject at home? I spent roughly two hours per day studying biology at home. Have you ever attended any extra classes for that subject? Yes, I have. I usually attended evening classes. Is it important to study hard on both social sciences and natural sciences? No, it isn't. Students should study the ones they like and the ones that are helpful to their career path. What practical skill have you learned? Cooking is a practical skill that I have practiced recently. Who taught you that skill? My mom is the best cook. She taught me everything about how to make soup, salad, omelets, cake, etc. How did you learn it? She shows me how to buy food, prepare ingredients, and cook meals whenever she's in the kitchen. I learn how to boil, grill, steam, fry, braise, etc. day by day. Why did you learn it? I just want to be a good cook like my mom when I get married. How long did it take for you to learn it? I learned it in four years. The skill seems to be strengthened when I live apart from my family for studying. How often do you use this skill? I cook every day. I also love homemade food. How has this skill helped you? 
It makes me more confident whenever I go on a picnic outside. I'm always responsible for the barbecue. Do people in your family know this skill too? My younger sister knows how to cook too. She has just started learning. Do all skills need learning? Yes, they do. Practice makes perfect. How is this skill important to you? It's an essential life skill. Hello? Hi, Diane. This is Helen. Hi, Helen. What's up? I want to throw Mom a surprise birthday party. That's a wonderful idea. How can I help? Do you know who we should invite? Her friends and co workers? Do you have their phone numbers or email addresses? No, I don't. Why don't we ask Dad? He should have them. Do you think Dad can keep a secret? Yeah, remember? He surprised her with a trip to France a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah. Mom was so surprised. What kind of food should we serve? Let's serve Mom's favorite food pasta. I can cook. Okay. I can take care of the party decorations. Perfect. Should we get together to discuss all of the plans? Sure. Do you want to meet right now? No. I have some things to do. Can I meet you at 5 p.m.? Okay. That sounds good. Why don't you come to my house? I can make us dinner. I'm taking a pottery class. Cool. What have you made so far? A bowl, a vase, and a mug. Do you like the class? Yes. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to make each member of my family a cup. That's nice. It's going to be their Christmas gifts. Is it hard to do? It was hard at first, but then I got used to the pottery wheel. What made you decide to take a pottery class? I like taking lots of different classes. I get bored. I wish I could take a class. I'm so busy with work and school. Maybe one day after you retire, you'll have some time. Retirement sounds great. It is, but it can be boring. I always have to find something to do. You must have a lot of hobbies. I do. My hobbies are sewing, quilting, scrapbooking, and now pottery making. Wow, you must have a lot of great homemade items. I do. My closet is full of them. Hey, Jim. Are you entering the school talent show? No way, Mark. I don't have any talent. I'm entering the talent show. What are you going to do? I'm going to juggle while sitting on a unicycle. I know how to juggle really well. Do you have a unicycle? I'm going to use my grandfather's unicycle. He used to ride one in the circus. That's cool. I wish I had a talent. You do. Think of something you're really good at. I know some magic tricks. My brother taught me last summer. Magic tricks are cool. You should enter. The winner gets a new computer. I've never been on stage before. I would be too scared to stand in front of an audience. I've never been on stage either. I think it will be fun. I'll just cheer you on from the audience. Thanks. Do you want to watch me practice? Sure. Can you teach me how to juggle? Of course. Let's go practice together at my house tonight. What outdoor activity do you participate in? I do many, but my favorite one is jogging. Where do you do it? I go jogging in the park near my place. Who do you do outdoor activities with? I usually go jogging with my family. Who shares the same interests as you? My family, especially my dad. We usually jog together. How often do you take part in outdoor activities? Every morning, except on rainy days. How do you feel after activities? I feel really relaxed and refreshed. What benefits can you get from outdoor activities? It's a good workout method. Jogging is also a good way for me to charge batteries for a long day working. Do you usually play sports outdoors? Yes, I do. I play volleyball and swim outdoors. 
Why are children less interested in outdoor activities nowadays? Children nowadays prefer high-tech gadgets like computers, iPads, and phones to outdoor activities. Hold it, Kathy. What in the world are you doing? I can't believe my eyes. What's the problem? Well, don't you recycle? How can you throw glass away? Michael, I was only trying to help. I know, I know. But I'm really surprised, Kathy. I thought you cared about the environment and... I do care, but there's no place to recycle bottles here, and I wanted to help clean up. You make me feel so guilty. I'm sorry. I did go a little crazy. It's just that recently I did some research on pollution and found out that we're running out of places to put our garbage. Listen, you two. Why don't we all go through these bags and take the bottles out? I'll take them home and recycle them. Oh, Lee, you don't have to take them all. Why don't we each take a few? Yeah, good idea, Mike. Well, let's get started so we can all go home. Hi, Sylvia. Mark and I are celebrating our one-year anniversary today. Congratulations! What are you going to do? I don't know. Mark says he has a special surprise. What do you think it is? I have no idea. Maybe dinner at a nice restaurant? That would be lovely. Yeah, we've both been so busy at work. Our first year of marriage went by very fast. Yes, marriage can go by quickly. How long have you been married? Twenty-five years. Wow, that's a long time. Yeah, it is. We've had our good and bad times, but we're happy. That's great. I hope Mark and I will celebrate a 25-year anniversary one day. I'm sure you will. I just got a text from Mark. He said to put on a nice dress and dancing shoes. Looks like you're going dancing. That's a huge surprise. Why? Because I love dancing, but Mark hates dancing. What's your favorite music band? I'm a big fan of One Direction. There are five singers in the band. Is it famous around the world? Yes, it is. The band is well known around the world. Almost all teenagers love them. What's their taste of music? They sing pop music. Their most famous song may be What Makes You Beautiful. Are they good at dancing? Yes, I think so. I fall in love with their every step. Have you ever seen them in real life? Nope. I just watch them on media. I wish I will see them one day. How often do you come to their show? I watch videos almost every day. Listening to their songs helps me chill out. Can you sing their songs? Yes, but only one song. I just keep singing it over and over again every day. Do your friends like them? Of course. We usually watch their performances and discuss it together. Do they have anti-fans? Yes, every famous singer has anti-fans. Joe, where are you going in such a hurry? Didn't you hear? The weather report is predicting heavy rain and severe flooding in our area. No, I didn't hear that. I haven't watched the news in a few days. I'm headed to the store to buy sandbags. Sandbags? Why? To stop the water from entering my house. You should do the same thing. I think I'll just evacuate if that happens. I can't do that. I need to stay here with all of my animals. You don't have any place to take them? No, I need to make sure they are safe. Do you need help loading the sandbags into your truck? That would be great. Aren't you worried at all? I guess I should be, but every time the weather person says something terrible is going to happen, it never does. Well, I'm not risking it this time. Now you have me worried. You should be. Hey, Jason, do you play any instruments? Yeah, I play two instruments. I play the piano and violin. I wish I knew how to play an instrument. You don't know how to play any instruments? No, my mom gave me piano lessons when I was a child, but I hated it, so I quit. I took piano and violin lessons when I was a child. How long did you take lessons? Ten years. Wow, you must be really good. 
My mom wanted me to go to a music college, but I wanted to be a doctor. Really? Yeah, my mom was a famous violinist in China. My dad was a famous pianist in China. You come from a very talented family. Thanks. What instrument do you want to learn? Guitar. Oh, I don't know how to play the guitar. We can take lessons together. I wish I could, but I don't have time. Billy, are you all packed? No, Dad. I can't find my fishing pole. Where did you see it last? In the garage. I'll look again. Okay. I'm almost done packing, too. I just need to load the tents into the car. I found my fishing pole. It was behind the skis. Good. What is your mom doing? She is packing food and snacks into the ice chest. Hopefully we will catch some fish to eat, too. Yeah. Dad, where is your fishing pole? I forgot it. Thanks for reminding me. Are we going to the same campsite? No. I want to try a new place. Cool. Can I bring my camera? Of course. But be careful not to lose it. I'll be careful. I want to take a lot of pictures. Make sure to take pictures of our fish. I hope we catch big ones. I love camping and fishing. I love spending time as a family. Do you want to go to the concert tonight? Do you have tickets? Yes. I got two tickets from my boss. She can't go. I would love to go, but what about Cindy? I only have two tickets. What if she finds out? She'll be so sad. I can't give up these tickets. They are front row seats. Front row? Let's tell Cindy that we have to work late. Don't you want to buy a concert t-shirt? Then she'll know we went to the concert. We'll get her one and tell her that my boss got them for us. Okay, that's a good lie. Great. So you're here with Mark. I've been looking all over for you. Congratulations on your marriage, Jane. And nice to meet you, Paul. Thank you. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, a grand wedding party. Have you opened the gift I gave you? Yes, thanks a lot. Hawaii is a nice place for the honeymoon. What wedding gift did she give you? Two plane tickets to Hawaii. I want to thank you as well, Mark. I love the picture. It's just what we need. I'm glad you like them. It's late. I think I'll have to go now. I'm leaving too. Let me give you a ride. Dan, we're excited to start working with you. Should we set up a meeting to discuss the details of the work? Yes, that's a good idea. When are you free? How about next Tuesday? I have an all-day meeting on Tuesday. What about Wednesday? I'm on a business trip on Wednesday. I will be back Friday morning. Friday works for me. Should we do a lunch meeting? Sure. I'll put it in my calendar. Have a good business trip, and I'll see you next Friday. Hey, Jesse. Should we grab a bite to eat before the concert? Yeah, I'm getting a little hungry. Let's get some fast food here. Burgers and fries? Yeah, that sounds good. Why is the drive through line so long? It's dinner time. Should we go inside? It might be busier inside. Looks like the line is really long inside, too. Let's head to another place. Can we go to one closer to the concert arena? That's a good idea. There are many fast food places around there. Yeah, we should be able to find one that's not too crowded. Fast food is great. Fast and cheap. But not very healthy. During my review, my boss asked me what my goals are. What did you say? I told her I didn't know. That's not a very good answer. I know. She probably thinks I have no goals for my future. I thought you had plans to go back to school and get a degree. That is my plan. I thought you wanted a degree so you can apply for better paying positions in the company. You're right. Then why didn't you tell her these things? I got nervous, and I couldn't talk. What are your hopes for the future? World peace and ending world hunger. Those are very high hopes. You don't agree? I absolutely agree, but they're not realistic. 
These hopes are for the younger generation. We'll have to change the future for them, but how? One step at a time. The world needs good leaders in the future. The world needs good leaders now. Good morning, Scott and Smith Law Office. May I help you? Yes. May I speak to David Waller, please? I'm sorry. He isn't here yet. May I take a message? Yes. Could you ask him to call Marjorie Vale? How do you spell your last name? V A L E. What's your phone number? Does Mr. Waller have it? Uh, no, he doesn't. It's 6805290. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? 6805290. I'll give him the message. Thank you. You're welcome. We need to hire another person in our department. Why? We have too much work and not enough people to do it. We can't afford to hire another person right now. We are all stressed out and working every weekend. I understand, but my boss won't hire another person. Then I quit. But you're my best employee. Then ask your boss to hire one more person. Let me help with the projects. Can we reschedule the presentation? Again? Why? We aren't ready. We already rescheduled once. This will be the second time. I know, but we're just not ready. You've had two months to prepare for this. I understand that, but we need more time. The clients have been very patient. Please, ask them for one more week. You have one week. Can I help you? I want to speak with the manager. Is there a problem? Yes, these shoes do not fit. Do you have the receipt? Yes, I want a refund. This was a sale item. We do not give refunds on sale items. I didn't know that. It's on the receipt. Who reads the receipt? I'm sorry, but that is our store policy. I'm calling my lawyer. We're 15 minutes early for the meeting. Should we wait for everyone to arrive? Yeah, let's find a seat. Okay. So how do you like this weather? I don't like it at all. Me too. It's been raining all week. It's been raining all week? Yes. Have you been out of town? Yes. I just got back from Hawaii last night. I bet you miss the weather there. I do. Oh, Miss Wallace. Long time no see. How are you? Good, thank you. How's your new job? I started working today. How does it seem so far? It's demanding, but I'm happy to be working. What's your boss like? He appears to be very thoughtful and kind, but they all do at first. I guess we will have to wait and see. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Take care. How long have you been living here? Oh, for over 20 years. And have you noticed a lot of changes during that time? Oh, yes, quite a few. This is a much nicer place to live now than it used to be. It's much greener. When I first moved here, there weren't many trees around. But over the last few years, the city has planted trees everywhere. It's made such a difference. Are you ready? Grace is still in her room. She needs to rush. We don't have enough time. What time does the movie begin? It starts at 7.30. What's the time now? About 7.10. There's no hurry. It only takes 10 minutes by car to get there. I know, but there aren't enough parking spaces around the theater. Well, I'd better tell Grace to hurry up. She can take hours to get ready. Let's stretch out our brand. What do you mean? Our clothes are popular, so let's make shoes too. Do you mean have a clothing and shoe line under the same brand name? Yes, I know a shoe designer who wants to work with us. Okay, let's get started on it. Diana! Oh, George, hi, how are you? Listen, I'm in a terrible hurry. The bank closes in 20 minutes. Is your bank near here? Yes, it's only four blocks away, on Vine Street. Well, get in. I'll take you. Are you sure it's not out of your way? No, not at all. That is so nice of you, George. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there a bakery near here? Yes, you can get there in five minutes. That's good. I don't have much time. Why are you going to the bakery? To buy a birthday cake. Whose birthday is it? My daughter's. She's ten. That's nice. 
Will you get some bread for me? Sure. Do you want anything else? No, thanks. I'll pay you when you get back. Are you ready to go? I don't feel like going out tonight. You always change your mind at the last minute. I'm sorry. I'm just really tired today. But I already bought the concert tickets. Can you call one of your friends? Our client has invited us to play at his private golf course. That should be fun. Can you join us this Saturday? No, I'm busy this weekend. I heard that our client does not like to lose. Then maybe I should join you. I'm terrible at golf. Have you seen Tom? No. Did you check his office? Yes, he's not there. Try the employee lounge. He's probably sleeping somewhere. You're right. He never does any work. I know. He's such a slacker. Is anyone picking you up at the airport? No, I'm going to rent a car. The boss approved your rental car? Yes. Why? He didn't approve a rental car during my business trip. I found a great deal for a rental car. You stole money from her purse. No, I did not. I saw you do it. Are you calling me a liar? Yes. You are lying about stealing. You have no proof. The sink is leaking again. I'll try to fix it. Let's call a plumber. Why? Because you tried to fix it last time. Okay, let's call a plumber. You missed a great game tonight. Who won? Your favorite team. I wish I could have seen it. Watch the highlights on the sports news. That's not the same. Hi, Sheila. Have you been to the new amusement park yet? No. When did it open? Last weekend. Was it crowded? It was very crowded. Parking is terrible, too. Did you have fun? Oh, yes. The roller coasters are really fun. My kids had a great time. It was even fun for the adults, too. I didn't know it was open yet. I will have to take my son soon. You should. They will love it. Are the tickets expensive? Yeah, they're pretty expensive, but your family will enjoy it. Maybe we'll go this weekend. We don't have any plans on Saturday. My son has been asking about it. If you go on Saturday, try to go early. There aren't enough parking spots. They need to add more. Okay, that's good to know. Do you have any other tips? The lines for the rides are very long, so be patient. Okay, I assumed that. Now I have to convince my husband to go. He doesn't like amusement parks? No, I have motion sickness, so I can't ride any of the roller coasters. That means my husband has to ride all of them with our son. Tell him to be prepared. There are a lot of roller coasters.